hey guys what's up so welcome to the final part of creating a simple image editor using visual basic so without further ado let's get started okay. now i can go to the on click method now when this method is called we should actually remove the item from the canvas panel as well as from the layer list view for that is selected control item is not nothing canvas panel dot controls controls dot remove selected control from the layer also we need to remove it from the list view so that layer list dot items dot remove you can pass the selected list item also refresh the panel so that it will be re-rendered now with this we have the item selection changed method implemented as well as the delete layer method also is implemented when you click the delete button it is expected to remove the element from the screen as well as you can select the current element and it will be populating its height and width into the corresponding text now you should be able to set the height and width as well as set the text so in the on click listener for the set element properties button here we'll put a try catch that is to just handle the exception in case anything happens so if selected control from layer is nothing then we simply return then we simply return if height text dot text not equal to empty and with text dot text not equal to empty then we shall actually convert this height and width into double and assign it to the corresponding uh, control which is currently selected so we can do dim height as double is equal to double dot parse height text dot text similarly dim with text dot text now we can assign the height and width to the selected control also we forgot to do something here once the item is removed from the layer as well as the canvas panel we should empty the currently selected item as well as clear these two text so I'll just copy the text here and just set it to empty which will be with text and also we set these items to nothing nothing and that is just for a safety so that you don't have to hold the reference to something that is not in existence now we should be able to set the text by clicking the set text method we can use the same logic so we'll use a try catch selected layer is nothing or also if the selected control is not a text or a type label we should then also return so type of selected control from layer is not label then also return text element text dot text 
we can assign the text whichever is there in the box or whichever is there in this particular text box to the item which is currently selected okay also we need to populate this text element when an item is selected if it is a text box or a label here in the item when selected if type type of so what we are doing is if the type is a label we will be actually populating the value of the text element text field with the existing value that is currently whatever is the value within the label and here we will be modifying it when the user presses that button now we can run and test okay so we can just import an image and place this image here you can see the canvas height and width was automatically populated here when the form loaded now you can insert a text and now when you select an item in the list you can see that its height and width is getting populated here i can make its width 300 you won't be able to notice it okay i will place it over here so that you can notice it so you can see that it's width actually increased now you should be able to change the text just go here and select it one more time and you can just change it to new text and the text is changed similarly if you go here and select an item in the layer list which is an image this won't be applicable you can make it 400 and keep it as 200 itself you can see it also increased and now you can see that i'm keeping this image over the text and on the layer list if i'm going and clicking on that corresponding layer which is corresponding to the text you can see the text comes up okay now we should be able to delete any specific layer so i'll select this corresponding layer and then press delete you can see that layer got deleted now we can try creating a small image from this so open this here i'll give it choose this and i'll give it switch as 640 into 320 simply i'll keep it here and in the new text and give it hello world as usual you can see it's been set i can place it over here and i can change it with to 180 again so that its width has been reduced to 180 and also you can play around with the values so this is just an example you can modify any properties of the element any element uh, that is how i have currently written the code you can it can be a different element you can place a text box itself or whatever you want and so you can see we'll import one more picture into it we can keep it over here okay now this is the order and then press save image if you go here you should be able to see the image now you can go to the properties and click on the details to see the width and height 1042 into 704 which is actually the width and height specified here now you can simply make it small by specifying 300 into 200 and then set it should reduce the size i know uh, if some of our elements are still inside we cannot move it i'm just demonstrating it and then we'll close that and then i'll save the image again and minimize if i go here and take the properties again you can see that its 
dimension has been changed to 300 into 200. So this can be used for resizing the canvas and all. So I'm just putting back to the older value. Yes, it was 704 and set it back. You should have everything here. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want me to do further more things like making or adding a few more details to it, you can just let me know in the comments. I'll try to add it and bring up one more tutorial related to it.